Born in Hackensack, New Jersey in 1943, Richard Stammer spent his childhood like a lot of other boys, active in Boy Scouts and Pee Wee football. But at age 11, he convinced his parents to let him work on a family friend's dairy farm. Not even the 5 a.m. wake-up call to milk the cows could dissuade him. By 14, he was driving the big tractor and baling hay. At 16, he pitched the idea to buy out Al and Mildred's farm after the couple, who had no children of their own to pass it on to, retired. Dairy farming seemed like Richard Stammer's destiny, until Al told him the world already had enough farmers. What it needs, he said, is people who support farmers. He meant the co-ops that made sure he got a fair price for his milk, the co-op he bought his feed supplies from, and the co-op that financed his farm and stuck with him through the hard times. Richard took Al's advice and enrolled in college. He landed at Rutgers University and earned his bachelor's and master's degrees in agricultural and business economics. While at Rutgers, Richard met his future wife, Arlene Fierro. He'd asked another girl out and Arlene came along to chaperone. The rest, as Richard likes to say, is history. The two were married in 1968 and recently celebrated their 50th anniversary. A PhD in economics and a fellowship with the National Science Foundation from the University of Connecticut came next. Richard began his career as a tenured professor of agricultural economics at Rutgers University, but left to put theory into practice at a pivotal moment in the dairy industry, which was never far from his heart. The 1980s and 90s were tough times for dairy farmers in New England. Family farms were shuttering, and dairy co-ops were collapsing. With no value-added products, the region's largest co-op, Agrimark, was hit hard. At first, it seemed like Vermont's Capit Creamery would weather the downturn. It was expanding distribution of its branded butter and cheeses. But unstable milk prices persisted, falling 30% by the summer of 1991. By 1992, Cabot, with an inventory of aged cheddar valued way under its market price, too was on the verge of bankruptcy. What if Agrimark, a cooperative of dairy farmers, merged with Cabot, a creamery co-op, with a full line of consumer-branded dairy products. Richard, then Vice President and COO of Agrimark, effectively made the case for the bold and fiercely debated farm-to-market merger. By the mid-90s, the combined co-op had already realized $90 million in sales. In 1994, Richard took on the additional role of CEO at Cabot, where his foresight was again rewarded. Under his leadership, Cabot commanded the market for aged cheddars, boosting sales and winning awards, while also positioning itself for what would be the next artisan cheese trend, flavored cheddars. Richard also helped Cabot solve a persistent waste disposal problem by turning a virtually useless byproduct of cheese processing, whey, into milk protein concentrate now used to boost the protein content of everything from infant formula to sports nutrition products. Richard's contribution to the dairy industry not only made it more economically viable, but also more sustainable. He helped tell the story of the economic, social, and environmental contributions of dairy farms long before corporate sustainability was a buzzword. As an economist, he personally worked on developing new state-of-the-art metrics for measuring Cabot's sustainability. These metrics, now in widespread use by others, have formed the foundation for new international standards for measuring sustainability performance. In the corporate sustainability world, they've come to be known as the destaminator metrics. Using these metrics, Cabot became the first dairy co-op in the U.S. 
to earn the rigorous third-party verification of B Corp certification by focusing on its triple bottom line. In 2014, Cabot received the U.S. Dairy Sustainability Award for Outstanding Dairy Processing and Manufacturing Sustainability. While at Cabot, Richard was passionate about marketing the co-op difference. He put the spotlight on farmers who owned the brand, focusing on their values and the communities they called home. An early adopter of the .coop domain, Richard helped make meaningful co-op identity a core part of consumer branding. Under Richard's leadership, Cabot developed highly memorable brand programs to celebrate and reward its member volunteers. A series of Cabot community tours along the East Coast was one of many such efforts that reflected the farmers' values in Cabot's brand activities while highlighting the fundamental role of cooperatives in strengthening communities. Traveling along with the tour is Cabot's Gratitude Grill, a full-service traveling kitchen where Cabot chefs feed volunteers as they perform public service. In 2011, Richard assumed yet another leadership role, CEO of Agrimark. Today, he continues to serve the co-op as Senior Executive Vice President on a part-time basis, playing a critical role in advising the cooperative and the dairy industry on a wide range of policy and marketing issues. Richard also makes time for family, including attending his grandchildren's many activities. In his free time, if he's not taking flying lessons or swimming at home in Hampton, New Hampshire, he's relaxing at the family's second home in Long Lake, New York, or traveling. For leading the U.S. dairy industry for half a century, for avoiding a Cabot bankruptcy and facilitating a merger with Agrimark, that transformed the cooperative into a vibrant, branded business approaching $1 billion in sales and for shaping public policies to protect the economic interests of the nation's dairy farmers. Tonight, we recognize Richard Stammer with induction into the Cooperative Hall of Fame. <laughs>